Dave, you've had to wait a year for this next story. 2009 has been a very, very strange year. But Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Pope shows us what you voted for as the biggest local stories of 2009. Over 500 of you cast a vote on our KDK poll for what you thought was the biggest story of 2009. It took a few months, but coming in at number 10 is KDK returns to Dish Network. And at number 9 is a Shelly police officer who shoots and kills a dog. There were three of them. They cornered the dog and they blasted him with four shots. The police claim the dog was sick and that they had no other choice. The eighth biggest story of 2009, as voted by you, is the Mud Lake tanker explosion at Ike's Tesoro. Well, you can feel the heat. This is all that is left after a huge tanker explosion. You see that scrap metal on the left there? It's supposed to look like that tanker on the right. Coming in at number seven is a bus crash near Income, where many students were injured and a teacher was killed. Thousands of us across Idaho caught the swine flu this year, and you voted this story the sixth biggest of 2009. Many of you even got a vaccine. I just feel it's better to be safe than sorry. A PE teacher arrested for lewd conduct with a student is the fifth biggest story of 2009. Carrie Atkinson taught PE at Sand Creek Middle School. An anonymous tip led the sheriff's office into making the bust. We're barely leaving the most charitable holiday season, but this one boiled the blood of many who gave donations to a boy they thought had brain cancer. The fourth biggest story of 2009, as voted on by you, is woman found dead after fraud investigation. Melissa Rice posed as the young cancer patient and blogged enough to get donations even from Lance Armstrong. Coming in at number three is a story we first broke and have covered closely. An injured dog goes untreated in Jefferson County. Not only was the nursing mutt left out in a winter storm with broken bones, Sheriff Blair Olson ended up charging Troy Jackson and Andy Elliott instead of the dog owner, Raul Torres. Jackson later returned the puppies to the sheriff's office. You know, the thing that frustrates me the most is that uh, when they talk about investigating, um, I don't feel like anyone actually did that. Jackson will be in court January 7th, and a protest is planned in front of the courthouse that morning, and a second commissioner's meeting has also been scheduled to discuss the situation that many believe the sheriff mishandled. The second biggest story of 2009, a teacher murders his wife's boyfriend and then commits suicide at a police standoff. Car stops, uh, Keith gets out of the vehicle with the handgun down to his side. Uh, one officer fires a taser, which has no effect. Keith is pacing around, puts the gun to his head and fires. And the biggest story of 2009, winning an overwhelmingly 31% of your vote is the Darren Palmer Ponzi scheme. Yeah, I don't have a comment. You don't want to tell your side of the story? This is your opportunity I, to tell everyone. I will get my side of the story out. Okay. So. But Palmer never did get his side of the story out, nor did he apologize to any of the investors he scammed for $40 million. Channel 3 has been bringing you the biggest stories every year since we first went on the air in 1953. Wishing you a happy new year. I'm Stephen Pope for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.